Moderator, would you mind giving up this gentleman with a ponytail? <laughs> hey, it's cool, man. Tune in and turn on and drop out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> for those of you who don't understand, I wrote a book called World War Z, or if you're Canadian, World War Z. <laughs> that book has been optioned by a gentleman called Brad Pitt. Movie rights section no longer optioned is now purchased. He owns it. Uh, he is now attempting to make a movie of it. I can tell you that it has a director, Mark Forster, the guy who did Quantum Solace and Kiteburner. It's had uh, two screenwriters, uh, Matt Carnahan and a guy you might have heard of, J. Michael Straczynski. It is apparently starring Brad Pitt. And it's apparently no, casting, uh, from what I've read on Google Alerts. <laughs> from everything I have been told, they seem to have a location scouted. They're making costumes and props. Uh, I will say this, that it's been a long development process. This is what they call you in Hollywood, is development. And what usually development means in Hollywood is that nothing ever develops. <laughs> All right? They should call it stagnation. They should say, oh, you have a project? Yes, it's in stagnation. Um, <laughs> but this one is actually moving, and it's been a very long time. Uh, and when it first started, I have to be honest with you, I, I would have been very surprised if it had gotten made. Because it's just so big. I mean, I, I didn't write it to be made into a movie. I'm an idiot. If I, if I was a better businessman, I would have written it small. I wrote an epic book. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> so I don't lose no chance. So many years ago in 2006, when the movie deal was announced, I would have been very surprised if it got made. And now I will be very surprised if it doesn't. So that hopefully is a benchmark on how close we're going. Uh, I will try and tell you in the future through my website what I know, but like I said, not involved in the process. So that is the update with the movie. Now let's go way back to the people who have no idea who I am. 